Hi, this is Kanan, and I'm going to share with you my story of seeing lights in the sky. It happened on May 15th on the double O road between Moon Reservoir and Highway 20. It was about 10 o'clock at night, and it lasted for about an hour. There was smoke in the air that night. The clouds were pretty thin, but quite a bit of haze, and so it was a really pretty sunset real red but you could still see lots of stars I got done taking pictures watching the sunset getting some good pictures at the reservoir and I headed up back home realized I had to pee before I got to the highway so I pulled over and a light caught my eye up in the sky it was like pretty high really but right in front of me and it was an orange and then it just flashed out I thought wow that's pretty cool because ever since I was a kid, I've always looked at the sky because I've heard people's stories about UFOs. And I've never seen anything, but I look all the time. So, there I see this big bright orange light just flash off. And I thought, I've seen something. But, you know, could have been various different things. So, before I turned around to go back to the truck, another one came on farther away and right down by the horizon. Then another one came on a little bit higher and to the right. And I was like, wow. And I was thinking, well, they must be some kind of flare or, you know, something. Because they didn't move. They just came on and kind of faded off. And I thought, wow, that's cool. That would be so neat if they were UFOs. And then another one comes on over to, to the right of those. Then another one really close to it. And then a third one comes on really close to it, so they make like a triangle. These are looked even sort of farther away, um, and right by the horizon. They were kind of right by the silhouette of a juniper tree. The three of them started moving together real slow. Then the lights kind of faded out one at a time. You know, it was I kind of had butterflies a little bit. Thought that was cool. Then there was a flash, like just like a camera flash, but from right above my head, I kind of saw it out of my peripheral vision. So I looked up to see what had flashed, and I didn't see anything, just stars. And when I looked back down, all three lights were seemed a lot closer. They were definitely a lot brighter than before, and all lined up in a perfect horizontal line right above the horizon. That kind of startled me a little bit, but it was... it definitely got my attention so those three stayed there bright one faded out another faded out and the third one started flying up into the air just went up and kind of at a 45 degree angle and disappeared and then here comes another one on and it's flying up and down they would just drop they would go fast and you know change speed but they were real fluid Almost like, you know, fish swimming in an aquarium or bugs in a swarm. It was all just pretty random. They would flash, they'd be on for maybe five seconds and then blink out randomly to one another so that sometimes there was just one, sometimes two, sometimes three. I don't know, this might have gone on for a minute. It seemed like a long time, but really a minute's a long time when you're watching that kind of stuff. But I don't know... The three of them were to get, you know, flying around. They were all on. It seems like the third one, I don't know if it went out or if it flew off in a different direction. But the other two came together and spun around each other in a spiral down to the ground. That's when, I mean, my jaw just kind of dropped. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But anyway, so they split apart right before they hit the what, the horizon, the ground, whatever. After that, uh, they didn't come on for a while. I kind of had time to let my brain catch up to what I was seeing, sort of. Not that it completely could. I was giddy. I had butterflies. I was jumping up and down. But, like I said, when those three came on, it kind of spooked me a little bit. But I wasn't scared at any point in this. They just, they weren't doing anything scary. They were just flying around. 
Um, I was so excited. Anyway, they quit after that for a while. That segment where they were flying around and spinning and stuff was the most exciting part that happened. Um, I don't want to say it got boring after that, but that was the only time they really flew around all like that. They stayed off for a while, but, you know, I didn't want to move. I didn't want to blink because I didn't know when the next thing was going to come on or what they were going to do. Um, I had my camera with me, but one, I knew that under those conditions, I wasn't going to get anything but squiggly lines, if I could get anything. And two, I just, I didn't want to take my eyes off the sky long enough to reach in and get the camera and put a different lens on. And I didn't have a tripod, so there was no way to hold still. So anyway, I didn't bother getting the camera. And it was probably five minutes though before the lights came on again. Now, they would mostly just come on and stay perfectly stationary. And they didn't, when they were still, they were perfectly still. They didn't drop or sway or anything. And they would just kind of come on randomly. Again, there'd be one, maybe two or three. They'd come on bright. And then they'd just kind of fade down to about half that brightness. And be on most of the time in that half bright state and then they would either fade out you know pretty quickly or sometimes more slowly but they would never just blink out they would do a quick fade or a slow fade in that period they would come up you know down by the ground or up in the sky and randomly and it seemed like well, there was never more than three at a time and it seemed like you know just as soon as one would fade out it would come back on like a completely different place in the sky so either it was moving super fast or there was more than three uh, but only three on at a time because they really move fast when you couldn't see them the ones that did move through that period usually they would just come on and more or less just move along slow in a straight line and often towards another one was on and they'd be in a direct collision course and before they'd hit one of the two would go off sometimes they would come on together like two of them would come on together and fade out in exact synchrony so this kind of went on ran you know randomly here and there for a while and then quit again you know they're in between times there it might be 15 minutes before they'd come on again so i'd start to wonder if they were going to come on again but after they'd been off for a while one came on in the southwest and it was brighter than any one I'd seen, but it was all by itself. But it started to rotate slowly and I could see that it wasn't one, but it was all three of them packed together in a perfect cluster and just rotating real slow. And they were on like that for quite a while that time and stayed bright the whole time. And then they went off and no sooner they went off, they came on different spots, <laughs> stayed in one place, fade out. And they just continued to move more and more to the west of me. It was like they were arcing around. There towards the end, I thought, well, okay, uh, they don't seem to be doing anything too amazing. And so I decided to go get my camera, and I did try to take some pictures, and it was a nightmare like I thought it would be. And I did get some squiggly orange light lines, I guess just for proof to my own mind that yes, I did see them. But all three came on, I mean, in perfect synchrony, real bright, real bright, and in a straight line, and probably closest to me that they were during the whole period. So that again also was kind of startling. So they all just went boom, all three together, and then poof, off. That was one time when they didn't seem to really fade out so much as just flash on and flash off. That was pretty much the end. They came, there was a couple more that just came on and floated. And then I waited for probably half an hour after that. And it was getting cold. And so I decided to go home with a smile ear to ear. So that's my story.